guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing DIY Disney themed slimes. I have been really wanting to do this video for the longest time and finally got the opportunity to do so. So for this video I am doing a Little Mermaid themed slime as well as a slime themed after the short film Frozen Fever. I hope you enjoy this video. Definitely comment down below your favorite Disney movie. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. For the first slime, I am doing a fishbowl slime using the beads I actually got from my previous haul video. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll leave it linked down below and up in the iCard. So first of all, I'm just pouring in some Elmer's school glue and adding in these really pretty glitters, which reminded me so much of Ariel's tail. To be honest with you, this looks so much like the exact color and I think it matches the slime perfectly. To add some depth into the slime, I decided to add in another mix of glitters. First of all, I have these iridescent flakes. To give that more mermaidy vibe, I also wanted to add in these. These look so cool and so much like the scales. To preserve its clarity, all I am doing is slowly mixing in all of those glitters. I thought that this looked so pretty, but really I just wanted to color the slime only using glitters. So I went in ahead and added more of those green glitters as well as flakes and the smaller iridescent flakes. In my head, I thought that this slime would look so cool as a fishbowl slime since I thought fish, fishbowl makes sense. I hope at least. So right now I'm just spooning in some of the fishbowl beads because I didn't want to add too many. And then you just want to stir that in and go on in with your activator. Definitely use a lighter borax and I'll put in the description box below what kind of activator mix I was using. As usual, just add it in gradually until your slime begins to form. For a week or so I left out the slime and I noticed that the fishbowl beads rose to the top. If you can notice, I did paint my nails and I hate painting nails and there were some stains on my fingers, so avoid that. So you can see that the two separated and the fishbowl weeds went up to the top. I also noticed that the glitters did settle down and I think it still looked really pretty and the slime was really nice and super clear. All right, I should stop talking and let you all listen to some ASMR. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would never- So, I actually found these beads, which reminded me so much of Ariel's tail and shells, so I went in and added that in, and to me, I feel like that spiced the slime up a bit, and it looks really cute. For the next slime, I went ahead to make a white glue flow. So for this, you needed a white glue base. So this is a base that was used with a similar recipe from my cereal milk recreation video. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave a link down below and in the i card above. So first of all, in my bowl, I went ahead and added in some white foam beads and some blue foam beads to give in that winter vibe. I also like to add in a mix of sizes, so I got some larger white foam beads to add in that vibe. Then you're just going to put in your slime. Make sure it's a bit sticky so the beads can stick in, and you're just gonna fold it through until all of the beads stick on. After that's done, you should have a base similar like this. So really, I wanted all of the beads to be at the top so I can make that really crunchy layer. So all I'm gonna be doing is just leaving the slime out overnight so all the beads can rise and I can have that nice crunchy layer on top to play with. If you didn't know, this slime is actually inspired by Frozen Fever by the Snowgies, which are actually the snow babies that Elsa sneezes when she had a cold. I also went in and added in some of those glitters to add in to that winter frosted vibe and I think that added in a very nice touch to the slime. I think it looks super cute. Alright, that's enough talking. Let me let you guys listen to some ASMR.
So for these slimes, I actually named them. I like to name the slimes because I find that to be super adorable. And I think other people do as well, so I don't find that absolutely weird. Kinda do, but it's totally fine. The first one, I named it Ariel's Tail because the majority of the color of the slime definitely reminds me of Ariel's Mermaid Tail. And the other one I called Snowgy's Flome because in the short film Frozen Fever, the little snow babies that Elsa sneezes out are called Snowgies, and I think that this fits the slime perfectly. So you guys can vote up in the poll in the iCard for which slime was your favorite. I don't know since both of them were so cute and so adorable, so I have no choice to choose. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, definitely like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can be reminded whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching, see you later, bye! While I was looking through some of my slime supplies, I found these bees and- bees, ha 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 ha, buzz buzz. Well, this is fun.